What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. I've recently probably got 400 slabs back from PSA, all from like bulk orders from two years ago, and haven't got around to make some videos. <clears throat> uh, apologies if I cough and clear my throat, um, just getting over something. But uh, all right, I do not remember what's in here, so I'm kind of going into this not blind, but. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. These have just been stacked up. So here we go. First one, we have a Snorlax from Vivid Voltage. Um, shout out to Ty. I know he likes Snorlaxes. I'm sure he already has this one, but if he doesn't, uh, Ty, just reach out to me. I'm sure we can get this over to you. Next. All right. I guess there were some Vivid Voltage cards I just wanted to have graded. And, you know, at $10 a, uh, a slab and never probably never going to see that price again. I'm fine with that. I'm fortunate about the nine, though. Here we have a very nice promo. This is from the small but uh, small but mighty premium collection. Very unique products. Um, I don't. They probably didn't print too much. And yeah, the babies. Very nice there. Happy to get the ten. And looks like we got another one. All right, we did get snagged two tens. So very happy with that. So, uh, very unique product, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure the price has already gone up just because there wasn't a whole lot of it. Uh, but if that interests you, I. Recommend picking it up before it continues to go up. Here we have Zapdos. Um, <clears throat> you know, looking back, this art is just okay. But apparently at one point, I thought it was really cool. Oh, I do like this card. This is like, um, I don't know. It, it reminds me of like a basketball player. Um, Scizor is just dunking on someone. <laughs> and this is this is the view of whoever's getting dunked on. Uh, so I do like this art. Starkest Ablaze. Ooh. Man, I cannot get a 10 of this card. Very cool promo. Um, yeah, from a premium collection box, I think there was like this at Primarina. At one point, you could pick up these boxes for like $30. Actually, at one point, I think you get Primarina and Charizard for $30. I'm sure it's like triple now. Um, this is the Dark, uh, no, uh, Burning Shadows art. And this was the, the promo. Very cool card. Uh, the full art version. And man, I cannot get a 10. We got a random Morgan from Team Up. Oh, Team Up is one I, I regret. I, I don't I think I traded away a lot of my cards and um oh even if I just kept all that stuff sealed, Team Up, definitely a product that uh there's not a lot or I, I don't uh you know not as many reprints as as sets these days. Hidden Fates, always happy to get more hidden fate slabs. Uh although nines um you know nines are a little rough. I feel like tens is not too hard to get, especially for these baby shinies. Oh, here's a unique card. Uh, I definitely think this was uh, for such a meme, you know, when when Sword and Shield first came out and showing these these Gigamax things, Giganta, whatever you call it. And this Meowth one was such a meme. So I do feel like this was a great card to grade. Really happy to get to 10. And it was just a product, you know, this was right when Sword and Shield came out. They came out with this. It was kind of expensive, you know, $30 for four packs and two promos. Uh, so I definitely could see that this, this car being slept on and, you know, there's no, this was never in a set. There's no rainbow version. It's just like the, <clears throat> this in the regular Meowth V and it's been long enough that I doubt they're going to reprint it. Uh, so very happy to get this in a 10. Uh, I wish I kept more. Actually, I, I did play that deck. So I imagine I might have some more to grade, but, uh, since I played with it, unlikely to get 10. Pikachu Radiant Collection. Ah, oh, man. I think I do have some Generations Pack sealed, uh, but I wasn't collecting that time, so I don't have like any ETBs or anything. Uh, but the Radiant Collection is just so cute. I love like the different evolutions, and this one's just awesome. Uh, like the V Union Pikachu, this is like, I feel like this was the original, then the V Union just took it to like another level, to almost an absurd level uh, for the, yeah, the V Union from Celebrations. Here we have some more Generations cards. <clears throat> Pretty difficult to get the 10 apparently. Got the 9, but do really like the Sylveon art. I love this Eevee in there. Ah, I guess we do grade some evolutions. We got a Glaceon from XY Fates Collide. Not the best Glaceon, too much of blue on blue. Uh, you know, not enough contrast. <clears throat> kind of like this guy, you know, got some red background or blue background, but then Gyarados itself is red. Uh, that, that shiny Gyarados, love it. Here we have another evolution. So like the evolutions back during XY, you know, solid full arts, but you know, I feel like all the alt arts are doing these days, they are taking to the next level, you know, really creating a picture, not just a picture of Pokemon on some random background. Ooh, near mint to mint eight. 
little disappointing, but actually I think I could be wrong. I actually think I bought this in <clears throat> just like a bundle of binders kind of thing from like Goodwill uh, online auctions. And I think it just happened to have one of these. So considering that, you know, I think it's a solid grade. Um, <clears throat> very unique looking Lugia. Another evolution, we got Jolteon. What is this? Oh, Gemin 10. Very nice. All right, this looks like this is a promo. Oh, I think I remember this. Um, uh, I don't remember what other promos it came with. We got the Mega Lucar, another promo. Just a minute now. Another Sylveon. So yeah, the Generations, they do have like, this is, I don't know, the regular, and then the one we saw earlier is kind of like the full art, I guess. But uh, they're both very cute. Another very nice Lugia. Ancient Origins. I actually do have some ancient origin boxes. Ooh, very okay. So these um these chest things, basically the the lunch boxes. Oh, I, I'm not a fan of those products. But then one time they came out with a really good one with this armored Mewtwo and a pretty cool looking Charizard. Man, why didn't I buy a bunch of these? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for all the throat clearing. I think I only bought like one or two and didn't even get the ten. This one looks really well centered. Wonder what happened. Maybe there's a little nick up there. So, very nice card. Kind of disappointing grade. Celebi. Uh, I think this is the mythical... I think it's from Generations packs in, in these. Charmeleon. Always happy to have more Charmeleons from Hidden Fates. But the shadow. Always like, what is that shadow? And boom! The big hit from Darkness Ablaze. Happy to get the 10 there. Um... Yeah, you know, I, I really do like this art, but they just made so many versions of it. Champion's Path, uh, Shining Fates. So I feel like they overdid it and kind of Darkness of Blaze uh, was definitely overshadowed. <clears throat> Dedene GX. Once a week, any Dedene was always a great card. Then they released this guy in the Trainer's Toolkit. Definitely the last time the Trainer's Toolkit was any good. And But I do really like this art. Um, there's plenty of them out there, so... It, maybe it won't go up in value, but oh, that's so cute. It's like it's like you have um, I don't know, like like a zoo or or like, and he's just pressing his face up against the glass or something. All right, we got some more hidden fates. Eevee, shiny Eevee, baby, just a nine. Ooh, two nines. But we do got a ten here. <clears throat> um, obviously, evolutions are popular. Always a little disappointed by how they did shiny. It's just like a pale Eevee. Ooh. XY secret rares. I actually think they are, for me, I, in my opinion, underappreciated. Just, uh, you know, always have some Pokemon in the background, sometimes multiple ones. I don't know what the relationship between Volcanion or <laughs> Xerneas is, but very cool art. And I think this was uh, the Steam Up, but I think that was actually a pretty good one. At least um, I occasionally watch tournaments and I think they're always using Steam Up. Here's your Velta. Why is Xerneas always there? <laughs> this one only got the Mint 9, but. Any of these XY Secret Rares, 9 or 10, I'm very happy. And here's one of those ones with a bunch of Pokemon in the background. I have no idea how they choose them, but we got Magnezone. Um, <clears throat> the Chestnuts, I don't remember <laughs> the final was Ooh, New Mint to Mint 8, a little disappointing there. Times 2, disappointment times 2. Like I said, 9s I'm very happy with, 10s ecstatic, 8s. It's like, ah, oh, you know, I think we could have did better. And here's that Alexam with Umbreon. You know, it's not by type. You know, there's a Lugia. It's like, oh, maybe it's a Psychic type. But then we got a Dark dark Umbreon. Like, if this was Espeon, oh, it's just, you know, Psychic Pokemon. But, so, yeah, if you know what, what the, how they pick these Pokemon, let me know in a comment. Because I am actually quite curious. Whoa. <laughs> we went from a Mint 9, which is, all right, totally happy with that, to a very good to excellent 4. There must be... Let me see if I can catch it in the light. You can kind of see my computer screen. Um, oh, down here. Yeah, big crease. All right. Binder copy right there. <laughs> uh, base set two. In my opinion, the oldest, most slept on card. If you're looking for the uh, intersection of slept on and old, I think base set two is the name of the game. Only a near min seven, so like... I. Minus Charizard, you could probably pick up most of base set 2, near min 7 for a very good price. Or whatever you think it is, take a look and I bet it's lower. <laughs> so, I don't think I finished. Eh, maybe I finished base set 2, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I do like this Blastoise. I don't know, he's like, it's like, stop, you shall not pass. 
Uh, I think I do have like a cracked ice version. Maybe that's from like a, a theme deck or something. But uh, just a nine and an eight. So kind of disappointing there. I think I picked these up on like TCG or something. Special delivery Pikachu. Oh, I, I have a, some mail days kind of just waiting for some special delivery Charizards to roll in the mailbox and we'll have some more mail day. But uh, these Pikachus, oh man, like this guy was free. You just make a purchase and they just give it to you. Um, and But obviously the quality was not always there. I think I do have a 10, but uh, 8 there. Ooh, there's a 10. All right, maybe this is my 10. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's kind of a... The Bidoof, I think I only have one Bidoof ungraded. And uh, did pick up some Charizards. Here's another 8. We're at 9. So yeah, I picked up a lot of these. Graded a bunch. Seems primarily 8s, 9s, but I'm happy to get that 10. Very, very unique card. And interesting story, like that thing was free. Um, Evolutions, Charizard, you know, this one is obviously a little off center, so the Mint 9 makes sense. I, I got all my cards back from PSA at this point. I had one that I, that I opened for a patron, A, and I actually bought it off him and then all my great all my cards are back and I don't have a 10 very disappointed this one obviously is not perfectly centered top to bottom so this nine makes sense but man cannot get that 10 either <clears throat> all right I almost always end my submissions with some base set Charizards and I've long exhausted all my good ones so at this point I was already sending some questionable ones here we have excellent to mint six Near Mint 7, actually Near Mint 7 is not bad. I think, actually think I got upcharge for this. Oh, we're actually ending things with a Reshi's. Oh, we got two more heavy hitters. My favorite, oh, I didn't realize. I should mention this at the beginning. Actually, I didn't know. I graded my favorite card. Um, pretty sure it's my favorite Pokemon card of all time. You'll see it. There's two of them, but we're wrapping these up with another one. You know, a special card for me. Reshi's are definitely opened tons of Unbroken Bonds trying to pull this guy. And I finally got a 10. Man, I got so many 9s. Uh, kind of bought into these cards at the peak. Did not time it correctly. It's gone down quite a bit and still hasn't recovered from when I purchased it. But love that card. And oh, especially since it's useful and competitive. All right, here we go. So my favorite card, um, you know, among, I have a lot of, um, you know, very close favorites. But this one I think is my favorite. Uh, people that follow the channel for a while maybe know who this is. Or could probably guess it is boom the Mario Pikachu gem mint 10 love this card this thing got upcharged quite a bit uh, well deserved for it man really happy these things when I, whenever I get a 10 just because honestly I can't tell nines from tens like the centering Japanese cards very hard to tell on the back still not easy to tell on the front and uh, so nines really hurt just because I mean, Japanese, the card quality is so high. It's either 9 or 10. Like, 8s are pretty rare, to be honest. Or there's probably you nicked it or something. So, very happy to get that 10. And, oh my, we got two of them. My favorite Pokemon card, Mario Pikachu. Man, this collab, so cool. I wish I was around 2016. At least I managed to pick, I think it was around 2018 when I picked a bunch of these up. And I actually bought a couple of the boxes. Ah. Oh, they did some cool stuff at that time. All the ponchos, Pikachus, and stuff like that. Definitely among my favorite. But this one, my number one card, the Pokemon TCG. Pretty sure it's Mario Pikachu. And that's going to do it for this Returns. We have a bunch more of these. At least four more of these videos to do. So many cards. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Some more Mail Day to come as well. Shout out to all the patrons out there. Uh, if any card, if you're a patron and <clears throat> there's a card that interests you, just hit me up. I'm sure we can figure something out. Uh, do, you know, 10, 15% off eBay or market price. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.